Hey guys, it's me, Unleashed Bread. I'm doing another Minecraft tutorial video. This one's on how to build a dirt house. Wait a minute. This is a Minecraft. One of the coolest things about modern RPG games is that you can customize your character to make them look as realistic as possible. So naturally, I modeled mine after Hillary Clinton. See the resemblance? This is from a picture of her after she lost to this guy. I'm sorry, you're fired. Get out of here. Now the art design of Skyrim is something truly to be awestruck by. You take a step back and go, whoa. But then on the other hand, you take a step forward and go, Whoa. Hmm? You want something from me? Absolutely amazing. Throughout the years, virtual games have made significant improvements to gameplay interactivity and enjoyability. You have Quake here. You have Majora's Mask. You can shoot this guy with a bow or you can go behind him and hit him with your sword. You got the original Call of Duty. You can shoot this guy in the face from close, or you can shoot him in the face from afar. Pick your poison. Improvements such as increased movement flexibility, dynamic combat systems, and mentally stimulating puzzles all add to the overall satisfaction a player may feel while coming home Sitting on the couch after a long day working in the coal mines. Got your bag of Cheetos next to you. Hmm. Sounds like my Friday night. Anyway, Skyrim's combat sucks. And the gameplay is very below par. There's like two things you can do pretty much. You can either sneak around like a little goblin and shoot somebody with an arrow and hope to get a sick kill. Or you can scream at somebody and shoot them off of the mountain. These are pretty much your only options when it comes to spicing things up in this game. I'm not a man. I'm a weapon in human form. Just unsheath me and point me at the enemy. Ah, <laughs> oh, good one, Jimmy. So get this, I'm talking to this guy on top of a mountain and he asked me what my name is, and I'm like, Foo. And he's like, Foo what? And I'm like, Now the lore of Skyrim is where it gets really interesting. Essentially, you're the father of this one orphan boy that you find one day, he's playing with his toys, and he says that he'll give you five pence if you kill his grandma. So any self-respecting businessman would obviously do this endeavor. Bada boom. Bada boom. Why are you guys cheering? I'm a reptile. I'm holding a huge sword. I walk in here and stab her in the neck. And you guys are happy about that? Makes sense to me. So anyways, back to the story. So it turns out that the grandma that you killed actually had a daughter named Astrid. And what Astrid does is kidnaps you and puts you in this icy shack in the middle of the icy wasteland from Fallout. And she says, look, I know you killed my grandma, but turns out her soul was actually the embodiment of all evil on the face of the land. And now a dragon has absorbed that soul. And I, Astrid, am the single person on this earth that can stop her. And also, by the way, before I forget, there's three people behind you. One of them is evil. The other two are completely normal. I don't know why I tied them up. But you got Slappy the Clown, 
You got Shrek, and you got Buzz Lightyear. Now your job, Dragonborn, is to kill one of them. But it got me thinking, Astrid is actually the one that put us in this freaking cabin. So I did what any self-respecting businessman would do. Exactly. So then all you have to do is walk outside, and then there's the grandma flying around. You just have to do a 1440 degree no scope spin kill, one shot on the dragon. And of course it kills it instantly, just like what you'd expect. And then the grandma is vanquished, evil is gone from the land, Skyrim is back to normal. And you are pretty much a god among men at this point. So yeah, the story sucks, just like what you would anticipate from a game about riding dragons and killing grandmas. I don't know what else you're expecting. Bonus round. Alright guys, this is the bonus round. Before you, you're seeing some footage that I captured while going through the game, and it's up to you to decide if this is a flaw or a feature. And you can put that in the comments if you want. I don't really care, I'm not going to read them. But also in the background, I put some of my practicing for my trombone recital coming up. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, fine. I have one last confession to make. I may have a slight problem with hoarding bread. 